Hey, my name is Jim McLaren. Today is part one of four. I'm going to do four different segments on the microwave. And my microwave, what was happening, I set, uh, put it in my coffee to warm it up for 30 seconds. Uh, the display come on, 30 second countdown, the light come on, the turntable turn. But after the 30 seconds, there was no warming of my coffee. It was still cold. So there's a problem inside the microwave. So it could be several problems. We're going to check some of them today. Now the first thing I did is uh, remove the uh, cover and the, my, I got lucky because the screws I have are all Phillips screws here so they're easy to take off. Now some people are experienced the newer microwaves they don't want you in there because of the capacitor uh, holding that, uh, that voltage. So they p put those special torque screws and these torque screws uh, have a nipple in the middle of them so you need a special screwdriver to get at them and this is uh, my Weeha one. And it's got a torque bit, but there's no, the end of it, you can see the end of it, there's just normal end of it. You know, I have an old uh, Mastercraft one, and it's got the torque screw with the hole in the middle, so that it'll fit inside that screw to take it off. Now, if you don't have that screw driver, then if you had this Vampire Brute thing, those uh, pliers will grab those screws and take them off very easy, because the serrations in these uh, Vampire the brute ones there so that's another alternative so we're gonna check a few things today now uh, this microwave has been unplugged for a couple of weeks now so there's no voltage to worry about but when you disconnect your unplug your microwave you gotta have the capacitor holds the charge that's the capacitor down here and you use a pair of pliers with the insulated handles and you just come across here just charge it here across the terminals here and you're gonna, if you just unplug it, you're gonna see a little spark across there because there's still voltage. Very, very dangerous to do that. Very, very dangerous. So make sure you discharge it or just when you unplug it, discharge that capacitor. It holds the charge. Now we're gonna look at the switches on this video, and then uh, part two will be the magnetron and other parts, three and four of the other parts. We'll check out the capacitor and we'll check out the diode. So right now we're going to check out the three switches and we're going to check out the thermal cut, cut off and we're going to check out the fuse on this microwave. So let's pause the video and set it up. Now the microwave, I'm going to check the switches. So I'm going to set my ohm meter here. This is uh, the ohms and then I'm going to set it, select uh, the, uh, there's a little, there's a little, uh, it's like a little speaker. I don't know if you can see, it's right there, the speaker. So I'm going to set that to the speaker so I can check my switches and that just gives me an auto alarm when I touch the leads. So we're going to check the switches here. We'll take this one off here. This is the top switch. I'm just going to check make sure we got continuity here. We've got continuity there. Plug that back in here. And the middle switch, you don't. Uh, there's no plastic holding it so you can just check it. That's good. And the bottom switch the bottom switch is the one that goes most often and uh, so all three switches are working now where we're at it uh, we might as well check your thermal cutoff just pull the leads off here and the thermal cutoff if your microwave overheats then it protects your microwave that's what the thermal cutoff is so that's good and the last check we're going to do here is going to check the fuse Fuse over here, and it's this is a ceramic one, and it could be a 20 amp or 15 amp fuse. So now we've checked the uh, the fuse, the thermal cutoff, the three switches are all okay. The next step, we're going to show you to take the magnetron apart and sh uh, check it the magnetron. So don't forget, discharge that capacitor. Very very important. So. Uh, Look for from step two of this uh, video. Step two is going to be looking at the magnetron. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.